It's a story that we brought to you as breaking news yesterday at four. The Supreme Court refused to lift a temporary block on a Florida law that limits drag shows. Law backed by the governor has drawn opposition from drag queens everywhere. We see them at brunches and on stages and more recently rallying at the steps of the state capitol. Drag queens who want this law overturned say it attacks a long-standing culture and community. Well, she's tonight, Gabrielle has spent a day with a local drag performer who says the curtains will never close. I have a show tonight and I'm excited about it, so let's bring Darcel out. He hasn't always had a seat at the table, so Darcel Stevens created his own. I usually paint right here. In front of bright lights, a mirror, and a set full of makeup. Patti LaBelle, Beyonce, anyone, and they don't step on stage looking like they do when they get up in the morning. They put on their drag. By day, Stevens is a marketing and outreach coordinator at Harmony Healthcare Orlando. By night, he takes center stage as a dazzling drag queen. When I first started driving to the venue in drag, I would make sure that I did not pull up next to someone, slightly behind or ahead, just in case they look over. Now I want them to look over. It took time to get there. The Belle Isle resident has served in the military for almost a decade. As soon as I got out of the Army to go to ROTC at UF, I got exposed to the gay bar and I was just fascinated. Then he started performing in the 1980s. You cannot be in this business and be shy you can't be complacent. And so they weren't. Then ask the question. When Stevens led hundreds of drag queens and their supporters to march the Florida State Capitol in April. Got tired of being harassed, got tired of the nonsense. They rallied against the Protection of Children Act. It aims to ban what Republican lawmakers call adult live performances if children are in the audience. Let's be honest, it's frankly disgusting People think that when you, when gay folks or drag queens are around children, that we are sexual predators. But the fact of the matter is, is that thinking is outdated. It's, it's, it's absolutely barbaric and it's ignorant. He says for decades in the LGBTQ plus community, drag queens have kept the foundation together. These were the, my protectors. He learned how to live his truth <laughs> unapologetically. And people are courageous and when they take actions, you say thank you. When Orlando's Hamburger Mary's restaurant sued the state over the child protection law, a federal judge ruled in favor, blocking the law from going into effect. The restaurant frequently holds drag shows. They stepped up and because they did, we all benefit. One more touch. Put on some glitter and I'm done. Then it's showtime. Well, welcome to Hamburger Mary. Stevens, dressed in a glittering gown, dazzles the crowd with humor. Hey, we got the whole family out there. Hey. And performance. <laughs> then, a special recognition. On behalf of every drag queen in the great state of Florida, we appreciate you, we value you, we honor yeah. you today. Congratulations. To the owner of Hamburger Mary's for standing up so people like Stevens won't have to dim their light. Glad that we did what we did, and we're winning, and we're going to win this. We know we're going to win this. We will be seen, and you can't, you can never quiet us. You can never silence us. We're always there. In Orange County, Sanai Gebregetigas, Wash 2 News. Now, even though the Supreme Court has weighed in, the state's appeal of the rulings to block the protection of children law from going into effect is still pending in the 11th Circuit.